Good day to everyone present here. My name is Lohita Kandaswamy, Professional Service Director of Rotaract Triple S Sashram Jain College for Women. And if you guys look at here, this is a house which uses very sustainable methods of energy, right? Now, if you guys look at here first, we have a solar panel. A solar panel, basically what solar does, it absorbs the energy from the sun and it converts that into electrical energy. Next, if you guys look here, we have a windmill. A windmill converts wind energy. Basically, the wind spins the, the turbine, which is present here, and it makes and converts that wind energy. It converts that wind energy to electrical energy, which can be used inside our household, right? Next, if you guys look at here, we have a rooftop vegetable garden. A rooftop vegetable garden is a very intricate pattern, right? Now, if you look at here carefully, we can use a rooftop garden to grow and, you know, water our own plants. It's very important because when we grow plants in our household, what happens is it produces, it helps to contribute to more oxygen and it helps to reduce some amount of carbon dioxide that is present in the air. Now, if you also guys, if you guys also look, you can use the vegetables and the fruits, the herbs to make dishes at home. So here, nothing will go to waste and um, overall it is very sustainable. And I, we should know that we should all implement such, you know, sustainable uses in our own houses. Next, if you guys look at here, we have a recycling bin. Now, in our house, we have a lot of, you know, plastic waste. It can be plastic. It can be either biodegradable or non-biodegradable. We need to educate ourselves to know which is biodegradable and which is non-biodegradable. Now, non-biodegradable waste, such as plastic, can be recycled. That's why we have a recycling bin here, right? And when it can be recycled, we can give it to a professional person where they can recycle the plastic waste and they can turn it into something else. For example, like a plastic, different water bottle, it can be anything. But you see, we need to make sure that we recycle it because one piece of plastic can take years to biodegrade, right? Centuries, in fact. So to prevent that, we need to recycle. Next, if you guys look at here, we have a water harvesting um, tank here, right? So it's rainwater harvesting, basically. And rainwater harvesting is very important because when it rains and we collect that water, we can use that water for other purposes. We can use this water for watering the plants here, for the plants outside, or we can filter that and use it for drinking, for cleaning purposes, anything. Water can be used for many purposes. So it is important that you collect your own har and harvest your own rainwater. Make sure you do that, it is very important and it is essential. Okay guys, so next we're gonna look at the trees that are placed around the house. So why do we need trees? And why do we need to plant trees around our house? First of all, trees can provide us a lot of shade. And because of the shade that's being produced, it can keep our surrounding very cool and shady. Second of all, trees produce a lot of oxygen. And so when trees produce a lot of oxygen, we can have fresh air to breathe, and ensure that the air surrounding the trees are clean. Because the trees clean the air, they cleanse the air, right? So again, it makes it better for us to breathe and it prevents a lot of health problems, such as asthma or any lung diseases. Because when the air is clean, we feel more healthy and better. So next we're gonna talk about the energy saving electrical appliances, right? Now if you look closely, we have solar panels that are placed on top of the lights. So what the solar panels do here is, they collect and produce the energy from the sun and light up the lights. So yes, next we're gonna look at the solar panels and the turbine. Both the energies from the solar, solar panels and the turbine, they are both renewable sources of energy. Right, so it basically means that it is reusable can use the same energy for different different purposes and it does not run out. The energy from the sun will never run out. So that is why this entire house here is sustainable. Okay, so next we're going to look at the energy saving efficient windows. 
energy efficient windows, what happens is the windows here are used in um, these type of houses. The air and the heat inside the room, inside the house itself, it escapes slowly. So this, what happens is that it keeps the whole room and the, the home comfortable and ensures that there isn't too much heat or it isn't too cold. It maintains a basic and balanced temperature. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna look at different types of questions, right? Do you think solar panel is more efficient or is wind energy more efficient? Question number one. Question number two. Does your home have any of these renewable energy resources? Think about them. Because you see, this house here is ideal uh, for our future generations because it uses all of these sustainable energies and it doesn't commit to a lot of pollution either. And because it doesn't cause a lot of pollution, it ensures that it is sustainable overall. So does your house have any of these energy saving electrical appliances, the windows, solar panels? Do you have a rooftop garden? Think about it and make sure you implement either one of these resources.